Hi there guys and welcome back to episode 20 of season 2 of Once Upon a Time in Blackpool. I'm your host and one and only Tom Smith here on FM 303 and as you can see on screen we come back with a couple of fixtures out of the way, actually three of them. You can't see the result before that as well but as you can see it's not gone too well sadly. Since that FA Cup defeat to Newcastle United away we have had a bit of a dodgy run in the league and it has left us as we go to the league table now to start off in 11th place. We've got nine games to go and unfortunately that playoff ambition we're 12 points off now after a pretty wretched recent run of form but in good news it's not all said and done yet and why is that because we have got to play teams like Brentford Brighton and Swans not Swansea and Leeds so we have still got an outside chance in getting in the playoffs if we can do well against these teams we're going to go for an approach now one game at a time to finish the season off and see how we get on let's now take you to that goal rush a minute and quickly show what's happened so we're going to start a Derby County and as you can see it was a two 3-2 defeat for us at Pride Park and to make matters worse as you could probably see here we were 2-1 up until the last five minutes of the game and then in the 86th and 90th minute plus five we lost by three goals to two it was quite a disaster I'll quickly take you through the goals now Right, so here we go. Now, Holmes coming forth for Derby here for the first goal of the game. He crossed it across to Edwards at the back post. Derby got off to a really good start here. He cut inside, played it across to Holmes, who was onside. Half an hour gone. It was 1-0 to Derby. Really, at that point, it was a very even game. We got into uh, the end of the first half, I believe. No, it was the second half, sorry. Second half, obviously, we turned now around the halves. And we had a bit of a rocket at halftime. Kaputska then finished off like he does with emphatic fashion to bring us back into the game. And then, with 15 minutes to go, we thought, right, we cracked this. We applied the pressure on, and we were really playing well. Diaby here goes full and DD, comes forward, absolutely lashes it. Carson has a bit of a mare there as he gets down, but the power still takes it in. His first goal for Blackpool well deserved but then with five minutes to go Chalabar you see him here hanging around outside in the Herbie Kane position just down here picks up the loose ball and absolutely rockets it low and hard into that far corner her sends their home fans into absolute hysterics and then the pressure was on and look at this for calamity 95th minute Tom Lawrence with a free kick and it caught out the defense caught out everyone caught out an embarrassing moment for us as we end up losing the game and unfortunately like we said it has moved on to cause us other problems we then went and played reading at home and got a nil nil draw interestingly enough as well we changed our formation back for this one to the 4-4-1-1 um, which normally was a tight formation as we know and it was tight. Nothing happened particularly. We had some few shots and a few on target, but it didn't have the desired approach. I tinkered and got us a point, but I was hoping it might actually get us the free. Uh, Mark Boller as well in this game picked up an injury. He is back now, luckily, but it did mean he missed the rest of this game and the next game, which wasn't helpful for us at that time. Anyway, the other game you missed, we went away to QPR. We beat 4-1 earlier in the season. Unfortunately, we lost by two goals to nil at their place. Sam Winnell and Lee Morris. Uh, Lee Wallace, Wallace Morris, Lee Wallace with the goals. Darnell Johnson also got sent off here with five minutes to go. He got booked twice in the last ten minutes, which was not helpful for us. He went in a bit hard trying to win um, some balls to try and get us back into it. So it didn't go so well. Quickly take for the goals now. Smile coming forward. Wow, that's gone really quick, hasn't it? Let's turn that down slightly, eh? My word, it always does that. Right, yeah, so we come forward now. Winnell picked the ball up here for QPR. He comes inside, leaves Pachenko for dead, unfortunately. He leaves Anik for dead. It was a great finish, a great individual goal there from a very complete forward for QPR. Second half of 10 minutes to go. We kept peppering them, but Wallace there with a the set piece, near nod at the near post, caught out again. Got to say this season, those one or two moments we would have got away with in League One, we haven't got away with in this championship season. And that will take us today to Brentford at home, who are in sixth. And as we say, it's a must-win game, right, if we want to try and get in these playoffs. In that other quick bit of news, we had our youth recruitment day where we had some youth candidates come into the club and we've signed some now. As we see on screen, we've now got quite a massive under-18s and it has affected our wage budget a little bit. So at the end of the season, there's going to have to be a bit of turnaround with some of these over-18s moving on now and going somewhere else or maybe going to the first team. Uh, best one we got in was Ronnie Irwin, who is a four-star rated potential 15-year-old attacking midfielder. As you can see, nothing too special, but physically he is okay. So that is exciting in some ways, having him in. 
And of course, we also brought in, I'm trying to find him here, Lewis Johnson came in, the Calera, uh, Carrera, who looks very good as well, three and a half star. He keeps improving all the time. His passing is very good already as a 17 year old. So, a little bit of encouragement there. Oh, Dennis Mohammed was the other one who was brought to my attention. A centre half who's 16. And once again, not great marking and tackling yet, but mentals and physicals are not too bad for a 16 year old. So, that is good to have got that out of the way. We also do have one new summer signing confirmed. Marcos Valente is going to be joining us in the summer. We might not have much of a game to be playing at that point because of FM20. But I decided to make a move for him. Uh, as you can see, he comes from, I think it was, he's on loan there. He comes from Vitor Guimeles in Portugal. Uh, he's rated 79 by my scouts, which is very good. At this level, he will be absolutely superb. An upgrade, really, on probably the Wari Suarez or the Prochenko sort of player. So that is exciting. There was a couple other players I looked at, but I couldn't afford them, as you can see, because the wage budget was absolutely shot. Right, one last thing before I take you to the game. We are going full Claudio in this. We know with FM20 coming out, there's probably not going to be another season of this. So we might as well try and find a way to win every game now to the end of the season. There was something in that 3-2-1 Christmas tree formation. Overall, it has ended up costing us more points now than what it's ended up gaining us. Um, the 4-4-1-1, while not gaining us three points, is very good at keeping us out of point in games. So I've decided to tweak again with a ball win at the box to box and then shift that third midfield option into the attacking roles where we have got the quality as we said before. So we've tweaked that. I've tweaked a lot of the instructions and how we do things and hopefully now we might see a bit of a shock result against Brentford. If we can win that at home, we then it can look like Perhaps we can sneak in those playoffs. I'm going to keep saying it because that's really what we want to do. Mark Bollasori is still out injured, actually. Two to four weeks he's going to be out for. And obviously, Darnell Johnson being suspended is not going to be helpful as well. But anyway, let's take you to that Brentford game now. It's time. Right, so here we go with the teams. We are at home. It's our 4 2 3 1 narrow tick attacker formation now. Anik Turton, Wari Suarez, Tilton, Haruna Sai, obviously, Bollas got the injury. Spearing and Kane, who've got the experience and knowledge of playing with each other and the connection. Same goes with Tilton Suarez now. So in this middle, we're looking quite tight. Then we've gone for Kaputska, Palmer, and Bichu. Full whack in the attack in mid area. Ryan Hardy up top as well. Bench Prochenko, DRB, Thompson, Delfonso, and Manor as well. Because I've got to try and have a look at him, bearing in mind, obviously, he's out of contract in the summer as well. We then take on a Brentford team that's in the playoffs at the moment. Balcom, Hadjum, Janssen, Rees, Sis, Hadzik, Jensen, Benrama, Force, Two Jensen and Beregard. I'm surprised I handled all those names so well. Anyway, we're going to assertively have a look at what we can do here. Um, let's give the fans a good performance. You've got up an improved performance here? Yeah, improved performance we've got to see here. Come on, and let's give them the George Michael faith approach and let's see what that can do. We end the team talk now. You might notice I never give the attacker faith. I'm a bit of a cautious one with that because I sometimes I think that could put a bit too much pressure on them. Probably doesn't, but hey, it's always been me. Anyway, we're underway. Now, Turton, unfortunately, loses the ball there early doors. Oh, one other bit of news I didn't really mention. And um, Bailey's still got a knock, so he's still not available as Herbie Kane strikes one over. Come on, Herbie. Let's get back to the opening start of the season where you started smashing them in for fun from everywhere on that pitch. Anyway, we push forward now onto the halfway line, looking to take the advantage at home. Spearing comes forward now, trying to find Hardy. Unfortunately, he loses the ball. That's the only problem with Spearing. He scored one long-range Thunderbolt in his time, which was quite a moment for us. But I don't expect him to do what the RB can do and um, do that often but he's better at winning the ball so it's a very difficult balance sometimes two Jensen's in here is he going to win the penalty it fell a bit loose and went off for a corner luckily for us I wondered if there was a bit of a knock in there corner to Brentford towards the back post to Reese, who managed to head it over the crossbar luckily for us but a very good effort they have got the quality from the set pieces to cause us concern throwing now for us down there into the pitch Spearing now wins the ball up and plays it up to beat you good ball to Haruna Sai Haruna Sai across Kaputska it's the post and the rebound falls loose and Balcom has to pick it up the backup goalkeeper for Brentford who's coming in for quite a big game for them. Come on, Blackpool. Good first half an hour. A lot, a lot of action, but really mostly been us. Brentford have tried to scare us slightly. Game is shooting by here. It's interesting, isn't it? This reminds me more of our 4 4 1 1 formation where it's all a bit tight again now. I can't seem to get this balance 100% right with the team, to be honest. One minute of added time. Looks like it's going to pass here. Last chance for half time. Spearing across the side. Hit it, mate. Oh, he does, and it goes very close. Okay. Hopefully, the second half will be an improvement. Nothing hurting. That flew by in about 30 seconds, didn't it? Right, I'm going to say I'm not happy because we still need to see a bit more. We are telling them to play an attacking manner, a positive manner, as you can see, and cycle that ball around the slightly quicker than what we're seeing at the moment. I think Brentford, bear in mind where they are, are quite happy to keep us at bay here. Sis now with a throw for Brentford, down to Force, who plays it down to Benarama. Comes inside, he's got the danger. Oh my word, what happened there? They missed everyone. Anik was watching it, and all of a sudden, it dinged off the far post. Anyway, no, I'm done, luckily for us, but that was a bit of a scary moment. Herbie Kane now has got two players on him. He's 
because he tries to launch his corner back in. Turton tries to find someone now. Bichu gets fouled. I think this is going to be a red card, you know. Jensen's gone in really hard there. It is a red card. It's a two-footed lunge outside the area. Right, now we've got something we've got to do. We want to encourage them now. They're down to 10, Brentford. We can sense an opportunity to get some points from this. Come on, lads. We need three points. There's no way about it. Let's demand some more here. I'm going to switch them from positive to very attacking. Normally, this means absolutely nothing sometimes. Anyway, we've got half an hour to go now in the game. Can Blackpool take the lead? Beat you with a strike from distance. Hope he came with a strike from distance. What do we say about these strikes from distance? One of those lads in a minute is going to get that goal. Corner now to Blackpool. Played across the back post. Benarama has to make the clearing header. Wari Suarez is there. What a ball from Suarez. Kaputska there with the strike and another corner. Wari Suarez there using his intelligence to go. I know Kaputska will be free on that side if I can get that long ball across. And Tilt sadly pushed two Jensen there and it goes back to Brentford's favour. Come on, Blackpool. We've really got to turn this into something now. Time is flying forward. It's a well, throwing in that corner now. Haruna Sai up to Jay Spearing. Jay Spearing it bounces around. Oh, and here come Brentford on the counter. This is the worry. Here comes Meitzen on that side. He tries to get the shot away and tilt with a great block there. Very good at that, Curtis Tilt. We need to make some changes now. I've been trying to let the team do it. That attacking unit just somehow isn't really working today. I need to do something. I'm going to get Ryan Hardy and put him in where Palmer is. I'm going to take Palmer off for Manor or Delfonso. Let's get Delfonso on, obviously. He's really the main guy. Kaputska's not played well. Let's go for Lamine Diaby. And I'm going to put Herbie Kane up there. And you're thinking, what in the hell am I doing? Herbie Kane's got a decent strike on him. Let's push him up further bit forward and see if that can encourage him to get that goal. 15 minutes to go now. Let's demand some more. We need to see some more for our team now. I'm going to switch it to attacking from very attacking. Free kick now. Beats you to take towards the back post. Wari Suarez can pick up the loose ball after we don't win the header. Turton and Hardy now linking up. Can we get that ball through? We're trying to pass through them. It's a bit loose. That's the only problem. And when we give it away there, they could counter us, even with the 10 men. Turton with an amazing goal. It's the goal of the season. 12 minutes to go here. Oliver Turton's first goal of the season is one that means so much to Blackpool. What a strike. Spearing up to Turton. He's like, guys, we've all been trying. We've been trying to pass it through. I'm just going to hit it. What a goal that is. Right in the far left-hand corner. The goalkeeper's looking like... Like he's absolutely had a howler. He did not expect the strike. Turton has taken responsibility. That's what I like in my players. Now we got to hold on. Don't give it away early doors here. Oh my word, a poor header from Turton, just as I say that. Come on, lads, let's counter and get that second goal. Turton's like, we will, boss. Look at that for a ball. Alfonso's in and the strike's on target. He had one place he could pass it and he had to get that pass right and we did. What a good effort that was. Right, can we do anything else here? Ryan Hardy's looking nervous. I wonder if we should get Jordan Thompson on or Manor. Turton across now. Raul Rodriguez clears there for Brentford. Tilt now winning that header and reading the ball well. Delfonso with the strike. Perhaps he could have played in beat you. But anyway, you have to try and act a bit more decisively. Five minutes to go here. Blackpool 1, Brentford 0. Ryan Hardy's looking nervous. It's time to get him off. I'm going to get... Oh, it's so many difficult decisions now because I haven't got a lot of options there. Let's get Jordan Thompson on, perhaps, and swap in with Herbie Kane. Do you know what? It's a bit square pegging around all, but they didn't do particularly well in the first off when the natural players were in that position anyway. Kane across now, trying to find someone. We're still looking for that second goal. Wari Suarez, we're pinning them back here, trying to win those loose balls. Barrama can try and counter now, though, for Brentford, but then we counter them straight away. Delfonso gets a strike away. It's not on target this time, but Nathan's really looked dangerous since he's come on. Looked like he really wants wants to contribute something to this team. He's been stretching that back line and causing the issues for them. Four minutes of added time here now to play. Haruna Sai on the left trying to get the ball across. Gives it away again. Turton with the header down. Plays the ball forward. Anik's going to pick up the loose ball. Luckily for us there as their striker chases him down. Try and spread it down here. He plays it to Turton. So, yeah, right, wow, he swires a long ball forward, unfortunately slightly over hit, but that could have been a nice one ball touch over the top and in for a second goal. Ayuju's come up, up front now for Brentford. More challenging names for me to deal with as he equalises. Abu and Edulu with four minutes of added time. It is Blackpool 1, Brentford 1. And I am utterly stunned because they've barely had a chance. But I just said, what will that quality do? The ball in, we got absolutely caught in dead man's land there, didn't we? It was between the defence and the goalkeeper. 
that is not good at all. We've got a few minutes now to save our season in added time. Aruna size got to get this in. We win the throwing now. Two minutes to go. Can we get a late winner here? Diaby's trying to win the header. Haruna side trying to play it back in. It's not going well. The bounces aren't going our way. Herbie Kane now with the ball towards our goal. Diaby now. He's got to try to spread it to Turton. He does. Turton's got to get that ball across. He does. Raul Rodriguez with a clearing header. Commits himself well there. Spearing picks it up again though. And Beach, you can't get it in. We're finding it hard to pass through them here. And that's been the difference. Aruna side takes the corner now. Set piece opportunity. We've got a minute to go here of the added time. We've got to win this game. D'Alfonso with the header and it's come back off the goalkeeper on the crossbar. That was the chance. That was the chance. 30 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. Throwing's coming in now. Spearing down to beat you. Down to Herbie Kane. He's put it wide. Oh, Herbie. Oh, oh I cannot believe it. I thought it was going to go in the far corner. Our playoff hopes are going to be demolished today, ladies and gentlemen. We've not been bad. We've not been terrible. We're just slightly not good enough to reach that top six. Blackpool won. Brentford won. Oh, it's most. It's only a draw, but I feel like I've been kicked in the gut with that one. Oh, I don't know where to go with this. I could really destroy them out. No, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. Do you know what? I've got to be honest with them. I prefer to be honest with them and destroy them around than actually not. Drops us into the bottom half and leave for probably the first time this season as well, would you believe it? Our record is now looking a bit more average than excellent. 12 wins, 13 draws, 12 losses. A bit of a spread of teams as well. Some of the teams we've beat, they feature in the losses column as well. So it really has been an up and down season. Oh, it was a hell of a goal from Oliver Turson, but it wasn't going to be enough today. Let's just take you to the schedule now and see how we're getting on here. So we have a look at the schedule. As you can see, we've not won now in one. One, two, three, four. Oh, I clicked on it. I didn't want to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games without a win now. At the worst time of the season, just after January, when you need to try and push on, it hasn't gone well. The first half of the season, we raced off to a hell of a start here in particular. But unfortunately, now it looks like we're signed to ebb away. There's still a little bit of hope because we have got Middlesbrough next, um, who are at home and are struggling. Then we got Brighton. Then we got Norwich coming up as well, who are in 11th. Leeds who are in first. So if we can win all of these games, perhaps we can still do it. And that's the way we're going to try and do it now going forward. But anyway, I think next episode is only one place we can go, and that will be away to Brighton. And we'll probably go for a double episode at home to Wigan as well, just to try and squeeze these two games in and see what we can do. They're very close together. And then from there, we'll know a bit more about how the rest of our season's looking up. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching episode 20, What's Upon a Time in Blackpool. There'll be another episode up tomorrow at 7. We've only got four episodes left now to the end of this second season campaign and probably the end of the series, like I say, unless anything dramatic happens. Hopefully it will, but when you plan for these things, it never happens. So I'm not going to plan for it. If something happens, we'll then have to deal with it. Anyway, once again, please go follow me on Twitter as well. A lot more stuff's going to be coming out on there. I'm going to be tweeting um, a lot more. I'm really getting into it. I've never really used it before, so consequently, it's been a bit of a slow start. But we're getting there, so that's at FM. 3032 the link is on screen now please like subscribe and comment for more fm action here and we'll see you tomorrow for hopefully an outside chance of the playoffs still i still want to get in top half of the league being 13th now has really triggered me anyway catch you tomorrow at seven thank you very much for watching goodbye